Well, that's the final shot, and thus concludes this year's small arms competitions, consisting of the 52nd annual Winston P. Wilson competition, as well as the 32nd Armed Forces Skills at Arms meeting. Hello, I'm Colonel Kevin Cox, and this commands our Major Shane Oaks, and we're the command team for the National Guard Marksmanship Training Center located here at Camp Robinson in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Before we bring you a recap of this year's competition events, we would like to express our gratitude to the soldiers, airmen and staff of the National Guard Marksmanship Training Center who have worked tirelessly behind the scenes to make this year's events a success. Yeah, these service members, months and months of hard work, dedication and preparation have not gone unnoticed. And we owe them a tremendous debt of gratitude for their hard work that has really allowed us to succeed in the last two weeks. That's a wrap. to do anything, do a little dance. Mississippi Wilson 2023, let's go! In a world where the limits of human potential are constantly being tested, the 52nd WPW and 32nd Armed Forces Skill at Arms meeting is the ultimate battle of skill, precision and pure adrenaline. Pensions were high and the competitors were, well, pretty competitive. The ranges were electric with excitement and anticipation. As the event kicked off, it was clear that these shooters were not messing around they had trained long and hard for this moment, or at least that's what they told their friends and family. The stakes had never been greater. Friendships were put to the test, and rivalries were born. Who is the worst state to win this game? You have to uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Ooh, no, he didn't. Despite the intense competition, the participants managed to maintain a sense of mutual respect. In those ranges, there was no mercy who will emerge victorious who will earn the title of champion and cement their place in history. Every competitor gave it their all, fighting with everything they had. They're all champions in their own right, and their bravery and skill will never be forgotten.